Parents of a missing Florida woman are taking the investigation into their own hands. 24-year-old Jennifer Kessie disappeared from her Orlando condo nearly 15 years ago. There have been no arrests or named suspects. Her parents sued the Orlando Police Department for a copy of their daughter's case file and reached a settlement last year. Now, with the files in hand, they hope to solve the case. Peter Van Sant reports for this week's 48 Hours. This phantom figure remains the most important clue in the disappearance of Jennifer Kessie, who vanished on January 24th, 2006. I think of her all the time. Lauren McCarthy was Jennifer's best friend. The greatest friend I've ever had. Two days after Jennifer went missing, her car was found in an apartment complex parking lot about a mile away from where she lived. But there was no sign of Jennifer and no conclusive DNA. But this surveillance video showed a person parking her car at noon on the day she disappeared. It was like being hit with a ton of bricks. The phantom figure then walked away in the direction of Jennifer's complex. The person was so casual. Something really bad obviously happened and they were just so casually dropping this car off like they were, you know, getting home from work. But the person could not be identified because the surveillance video captured a photo every three seconds and each time the figure's face was obstructed by a fence post. After years of having no solid leads, now it's our turn. In 2017, the Kessies recruited private investigator Michael Toretta to help them conduct their own investigation. Toretta learned from speaking with people who lived in Jennifer's complex that construction workers were living in an empty apartment just across from Jennifer. He believes they were laying carpet the day she disappeared. So what I'm thinking is Jennifer comes out and then is abducted from those individuals across the way. She's locking the door and never sees it coming. He also learned that 10 months after Jennifer disappeared, a person was seen dumping a rolled up piece of carpet into a lake not far from her condo. But last year when police searched the lake, no carpet was found. This is something that is haunting me. We need to see what's inside that carpet. And Peter Van Sant joins us now. Peter, good morning. First, I can't imagine being the parent of a, of a daughter who disappeared 15 years ago and having to conduct my own investigation. Uh, this is an amazing story. Have police been able to identify any of the construction workers who lived across the way? Not as yet. Uh, when Jennifer was living in that building, it was going through a conversion from apartments to condominiums. Many of the laborers were day workers, and some may have been uh, undocumented and they basically disappeared after Jennifer vanished and part of this hope that we have is that someone will come forward with a name or names after they see this report yeah and what about that eerie phantom figure uh, in the parking lot uh, any any uh, possible identity even on that person We've had people, which you'll hear in the course of our report, who think, well, this could be this person or that. But as of now, that's been enhanced by NASA. Uh, it's been studied uh, incredibly. They're not even quite sure if it's male or female. I see a man in that picture. But again, they're hoping that people will recognize the person, the, 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 the figure, the man, I think it's a man, has a mullet in the back, thin, walking across. And he was walking from the car to the construction site. So that's why they think perhaps it's one of the workers uh, that was uh, doing the remodeling at the condo complex. Okay. Peter Van Sant, thanks so much, Peter. You can see Peter's report.